Hey guys, it's December and that means this is our last monthly Kickstarter video for the year. We will, however, be farewelling Kickstarter with the best of the year video in the coming week. But until then, let's enjoy the last batch of new Kickstarter projects for 2015. A vast chasm exists between space and time. Here, the greatest huntsman in the universe is decided. Every decade, the, the Black Sea Odyssey is a high-paced space shooter with a steep learning curve, permadeath, and imposing this. enemies. What Plane is your choice of the four huntsmen. Begin. You are competing in a tournament to prove you are the galaxy's best. Surfing into the black abyss on your ship, you must contend with fearsomely gigantic monsters. To defeat them, you have a spear for serious damage, a harpoon to tear creatures apart or latch on for a ride, and a thruster to boost out of sticky spots. Your ship and weapons can be customized with runes found in your playthroughs. They not only improve your abilities, but let you change how they work to suit your style, whether that be long range sniping or aggressive takedowns. Black Sea Odyssey is shaping up as an action focused shooter with some roguelike and RPG elements thrown in as well. Dating back to 2002, Adventure Quest is a popular flash based MMORPG. This project, Adventure Quest 3D, is a reimagining of the game. Obviously, it's an upgrade from the 2D to a complete 3D world. It'll also see the game spread to mobile platforms, being playable on a phone or tablet. Furthermore, there's cross-platform support across all available devices, so you can play with people who are using their phones from your PC, as well as play on the same account on different devices. Getting into more of the in-game specifics, Adventure Quest boasts some neat features like Weapon Fusion, which lets you combine new and old weapons for a superior product. There's also the multi-class system, which allows you to play as more than one class. Adventure Quest 3D redesigns the widely held MMORPG, bringing it into the realm of 3D and increasing connectivity and playability with mobile and cross-platform support. Deserted is an incredibly lonely game, with its dim lighting, dark colours, long camera shots, fogginess and empty vast spaces, it makes you feel properly abandoned. It's also, amid its great sense of isolation, majestic and breathtaking, much like the upcoming indie title below. What's really shocking about Deserted is that with about two weeks to go on Kickstarter, it's only attracted 50 odd backers and sits far away from its make or break target sum of 30,000 Canadian dollars. If you choose to aid Deserted's flailing cause, you can expect tough combat, supplemented with upgrades for both your hollow blade and secondary weapons. Light up the dark with grenades, craft batteries for your guns, and collect and expand your modules to unlock new branches of your skill tree. Your character can be customised to your liking, and if the isolation ever gets too much, you can buddy up with a friend in co-op. Deserted has been ironically and unfortunately deserted itself. Maybe you can help it out. Hello? Hey, it's me. Having a good time already. Hey, Song of Horror is a survival horror game, largely driven by its narrative. For starters, it looks amazing, with great lighting effects and texture detail. Unfortunately, the voice acting in the trailer leaves a bit to be desired, and takes away from the game's otherwise impressive presentation. The voice that's heard belongs to protagonist Daniel Neuer, who goes looking for his publishing house's most famous writer, only to discover something much darker. You can play as Daniel, but there's an additional 15 characters to try out, each with their own gameplay quirks and story. Whenever any of these characters die, their deaths will be permanent. This means you cannot play them again, and their deaths will affect how the story unfolds. What you have to do as a player is survive whatever is thrown at you, so as to gather clues, puzzles, and riddles. Solving these will make the story's mystery clearer. There's not much in the way of action, with all characters being typical everyday folk, and you'll be at the mercy of the camera and its fixed angles. Song of Horrors looks terrific, feels dark, and employs a unique permadeath system to hopefully tell its story in a new and engaging way. Hi, I'm Tim Schaefer, and 15 years ago, I started Double Fine Productions for a lot of reasons, but mostly because I wanted to make a game. 
a really specific game actually, about a young acrobat who runs away from his family circus to become a psychic secret agent. A game where every level is set inside someone's mental world, where you literally fight their demons and wrestle their nightmares. It's a game with surprises and action and fun and a couple of weird parts and some jokes in there. A game called Psychonauts. Ten years since its first release and commercial failure, Double Fine's first ever game and cult hit Psychonauts is getting a sequel. Not actually on Kickstarter, Psychonauts 2 is instead getting funded on Fig, a new crowdfunding platform just for video games. The new Psychonauts will let players once again take control of psychic acrobat Rasputin. With the story continuing on from the original's cliffhanger, Rasputin finally gets to visit the headquarters of secret agency Psychonauts. There, he learns that they need him more than he needs them. What this amounts to is something we'll just have to wait to find out. The really exciting bit about this new addition in the series is the brand new mental worlds you get to explore. As a psychic, Rasputin can enter people's minds. In the original, he entered the frightening yet wonderful minds of misfits, monsters and madmen and encountered all their traumas, anxieties and nightmares. It took under a day for Psychonauts 2 to raise a million dollars proving just how strong the hype and love for this series is.